All right, guys, welcome back to part two. Part two of painting our Native American. And our other guys, got them all modge podge. That's all set up good. It's all dry. The little guys here. And our little fish. He's been modge podge too. The little fish. I don't know where his spear went. <laughs> Might have to make another one. Don't know where it went. But I'll find it. Or I'll just make another one. Don't matter. Didn't take very long. Made out of a bamboo uh, skewer. For your shish kebabs. Shish kebabs. Okay. Uh, we got a little paint here. Alright. So... Let's go ahead and carry on with this guy first, and then we'll do those guys over there. Uh, I don't know if you'll get to see them in the video. All right, so um, let's go ahead and do his hair. Using uh, some opaque Createx airbrush color black. Put a little bit right in the cap. There, we can just dump it right back in the bottle when we're done. Go ahead and get this bare brush, and we'll just uh, bring it right down close to his head. Working on putting the uh, anchor winch on the boat today. And we got some, uh, we're going to replace uh, some lights with LED lights. It's been hard to work on it today. It's been uh, spitting rain on and off all day today. So, we're working in between the raindrops, basically. Try getting in there as close as I can with the big brush. And then we got this uh, smaller brush here. If we don't get close enough with the big brush, we'll go in with a small brush. I like turning the big brush sideways. And just kind of pushing it in. You don't got to be that precise because it's hair. All right? Okay. The only thing we have to uh, do is make sure we don't get too much of it onto our flesh color here. And then uh, after he's all done, we will go back and seal him one more time with the Mod Podge. We got a new can of Mod Podge. Okay, get some gas for the boat so we can test fire it. I'm pretty sure it'll be okay, but whenever you start rebuilding stuff, um. You always want to make sure it's right before you go home and down to the lake. So people get mad when you tie up the boat launch and your boat don't run. <laughs> Too bad, so sad. And I've got earmuffs for it, so I'm not, you know, ain't no big deal. Okay, so that's got his hair done. Oh, looks like we missed a spot. Seems like don't matter how good you seal them or whatever your the master plan is, you always miss a spot somewhere. That's my problem. Okay, so you see, just by toning that hair, painting that hair, he's starting to come to life here. And we need our uh, 
So I had it out already. Woo, look at that. Economy size bottle of white. The lid don't want to unscrew. Go ahead, I guess we'll put, oop, that's way too much for what we're going to do with it. Got our smaller brush here. Here to load it up. Go ahead and put the eyes in. Look at that. That's why you let your paint dry. So you can get it all over your hand. Because you wouldn't believe how easy... It is to uh, spread that stuff around on your painting. Should probably let its hair dry before I go and do this. So I had to make a mounting board for my uh, anchor mate or anchor winch, whatever you want to call it. I found a piece of uh, three-quarter inch plywood, womanized plywood, laying around here. Now what we can do is come back in with that really uh, small brush. It's only like three hairs wide and we can split the eyes or you don't have to, you can just leave it like that because you're going to put your pupils in there anyway. Right? So, you don't have to split them. I could have just taken my knife and split them right there. That's what I should have done. Could have done. Didn't do. So, that's where that is. I really want to put my hand right on that mohawk and steady it to get it down push the brush down to the corner of the eyes there but I only had see that, that doggone mohawk keeps getting me well, I had two cups of coffee today so I'm pretty I guess I'm pretty steady if I can just keep my hand out of the black I think I may uh, just let them dry and then come back after the, the eyes are dry and the, the hair is dry and we can uh, come back and paint some more on them. Moron, that's me, moron, shouldn't have grabbed his hair three, day, three doggone times. But we'll let them dry. And with the magic of the camera, We'll be right back. All right, back to our Indian guy, our little Native American guy here. Okay, we're going to use some uh, nutmeg brown. Got a moth flying around in here. We're going to Put that on the uh, shoulder bands. See with the skin tone underneath of it, it really lightens it up. Moth is driving crazy. It wasn't too far of a trip either, going driving crazy. I think he found himself a spot up on the light. I don't know about you guys, but them gypsy moths were freaking crazy this year. I got a really big oak tree in my backyard and the poor thing looks bald 
from them gypsy moths. Just hammered it. A lot of the woods around here looks like that. They were terrible. Now they've all gone from caterpillars or whatever the heck you want to call them. They've changed into the moth things now. So we have got a ton of these nasty moths flying around all over the place. And I assume their mission in life is to uh, lay more eggs for next year's gypsy moth invasion. I'm not a anthropologist. I think that's a bug, a guy that studies bugs. But I think that's how it works with them. All they do is live to destroy trees. Okay. So you can see we, of course, we stick our finger right in it, Rob. So we've got the armbands done. I think we're going to make the uh, trousers the same color. And this is where the uh, wood burning helps you out. Because it's all going to be the same color so without the wood burning to uh, delineate the uh, color it would all get lost because if you, you look at it everything is going to be a brown tone by the time we're done you know, the, uh, they didn't have too many choices in materials back then. You had buckskin, beaver skin, wolf skin, you know. Basically, uh, the animals in your area dictated your fashion sense. I think the one thing that we will do is um, we're going to make his moccasins a darker brown, kind of help separate. Otherwise, it's just going to look like one uh, one big brown blob. So yeah, the basically the only uh, color fashion you got back in the day of the. Uh, Frontier Times was uh, basically whatever animals were in your neighborhood. And then uh, I do believe the Indians, American Indians, used different berries and stuff as dyes, mostly for paint work. I don't think that they uh, did a lot of clothes dyeing of cloth. I could be wrong. Um, they did incorporate a lot of uh, bead work and uh, used the bones of the animals. 
as well as the skins. Here's our friendly neighborhood moth. Back to be a nuisance again. Been thinking about getting one of them uh, bug assault rifles. It's uh, basically an air gun that shoots salt to kill flies and bugs in general. They ain't cheap though, I tell you that. They're like 30 bucks. Well, they were 30 bucks before COVID. They're probably 130 bucks right now. Everybody needs hobby. Can't buy real bullets, so you gotta break out your assault rifle. Salt, not a salt, salt. The salt rifle. Actually, it's more like a salt shotgun. To uh, target practice, keep your aim up. It don't matter if you're shooting a AR-15, a BB gun, or a salt, a, a salt, salt rifle. <laughs> shooting bugs, you keep your aim in practice, right? Kind of like that marble effect we're getting there from the uh, this flesh tone being under the uh, flesh tone being under the brown is creating like a marble texture, almost like a real uh, a real skin would have. Real animal skin once you tan it out. Oh, well, this guy could use some more sanding. Oh, well. He's just going to sit on the shelf anyway. All right, so. Let's switch over to that darker brown color. We may end up redoing the pants. His uh, trousers there in a darker brown. Uh, just to break up the monotony. Or we could do the brown on the, what do you call that, fringe? Right there. Put the darker brown on the fringe. Ooh, okay, you don't get carried away. This is called uh, Real Brown. Made by Folk Art. So, let's, uh, Should let that dry a little bit. Okay. We're just going to run this right down his leg. I wonder if I should just do these. Just to give it a little more separation and color. Like camouflage, right? It's all the same, just different tones of brown. We'll see what that looks like when it dries. Now I'm thinking his moccasins will do in the dark brown and then we do the the where it's sewed together here in the light brown so 
what I'm thinking. Man, the bugs are coming in. It's getting uh, later into the evening here. And I got the door open because it's so doggone humid right just now. Uh, I got the door open with my little fan on. And the, I think the fan, between the lights and the fan, we're sucking bugs in like they're out at the nightclub. Thank goodness they're not biting. I have to go get a blood transfusion if the mosquitoes start humming in. Oops. Oopsie! And I'm trying to hold him on his edge of his foot so we don't get the brown from the moccasin spread all over the place here. Alright, I think we're going to have to let them sit and dry. It's getting late and I'm getting tired, so... It's like 11 o'clock at night. I think it's time for me to call it a day. And, uh... We'll finish this paint job up maybe tomorrow. Let's see what we got going on tomorrow. Big things, big things. Okay. So then we can go back. I already put it away. But uh, we're just going to monotone, maybe you could call it. Monotone it. Get out of here, Moth. Maul thinks it's a parakeet trying to land on my shoulder. Okay, we got our brush rinsed out. We'll go back with this color here. It's a lighter brown. And we'll just wrap that right around. Should have went back and cleaned that up. It is what it is. Had a lady stop by today. She wants a birdhouse. A moose birdhouse. So I guess we're going to have to see if we can figure out how to fit that into the schedule somehow. Playing with the light. Shaking the camera. All right. Put a little bit of that, that in the cap. A little bit of that color pink there in the cap. It's a ivory, ivory color. This is by Apple Barrel. Just in case you guys are interested. I didn't want to go with the a super bright white for these little feathers. So we're going with ivory. Man, my eyes are really bright white. I mean, we have to go in and change them to ivory too. I don't know. It's a caricature. He can have super bright white eyes. I don't care. We'll get them done. Get them done, get them done, get them painted. So 
so I can go up there on the shelf. Uh. It looks like a hair. Got in the paint. Paintbrush must be shedding. All right, we got that out of there. All right, so. There. We got the ivory done. Um, I think, uh, what color do we want to do these little, uh, these little things here? What color do we want to do these little things right here? Thinking, uh, how about lipstick red? Give them a little color. Right there. Something like that. Yep, I think so. I think that works out pretty doggone good. I got called night guys. These bugs are driving me nuts. All right. So that's it for him. I can't spin him around for you because he's wet. So as we move on to the next video, I'll give you the, uh, the twirl of him. You grab him by the hand, I guess. Okay. Yeah, that's what he looks like, yeah. How you doing? How you doing? Not so bad. Not so bad. How you doing? How you doing? Okay. Say good night. Good night. Oh, bummer. You know what I forgot to do? Since we got them right here, we got all these paints sitting up here. I forgot to give him his teeth. That's right, guys. Look at this. We got this little tiny paintbrush here. This little tiny thing I got from the craft store. Or actually, it was a hobby store. It's like three, three hairs wide. It's very, 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 very fine. Very fine. And no, I did not carve individual teeth. Yeah, though, if you want to get fancy schmancy with it, I guess you could uh, go in there with the crap. Go in there with the uh, this little fine brush with a little bit, 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 little bit of paint, and. Uh, See, we got a little paint on his lip. Let's see if we can get that off there. Nope. Bummer. Now I got a spot right here I got to touch up anyway. But trying to ma match that color is going to be a pain because I freehand mixed it. I didn't take no measurements or nothing. None of that fancy stuff. There. See, now he's got a smile, he's got teeth, and actually the bottom teeth and the top teeth are separated. Ugh, bugs, 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 bugs. Get out of here, bugs. Now I'm using that small brush, but I'm just barely dipping the tip of it into the paint. All right, so now he has a smile. You can see his little toothy grin there. Coming in with some black paint and a fine tip paintbrush, and we're gonna paint his eyeballs in, yep. So he can see you all and say, hello there. Yeah. Get that eye painted in. Get both of them painted in. And uh, yeah. 
All right, all right, all right, Spike, all right. Well, it looks like the uh, rain is done for the day. It's, uh, sun's coming out right at the end of the day. After it's been raining hard all day today. Yeah, tomorrow's Wednesday. Farmer's Market Day. Wednesday, go see what kind of junk they got at the farmer's market. Maybe buy some uh, fruit. Maybe buy some vegetables. Yeah, see if they got any of them big tomatoes there. I love me a tomato sandwich. Two pieces of bread and some mayo. Oh, yeah. A little tomato. All right, guys. Final looks. Yeah, this was a long one. Probably should have split it into two videos, but I figured we'd just get it done, get it uploaded so you guys can see what is going on. So this is what he came out looking like. Our little uh, Native American Mohawk guy. We found his spear. We painted the uh, end of it with the sterling silver paint. We'll say hello to uh, Sean Brooks over there at Pen on Fire and Carving, Calvin Carbs. Uh, Uncle Kevin, go check out Uncle Kevin Carbs. Check out Jordy J. Johnson, Jordy J. Johnson. <laughs> I don't know why it came out like that. Jordy Johnson, Ben Studio on the Lake, Dan C A R P I O, I think his name is. He's got a, a pretty good channel going on over there. If you like whittling and knife carving, go check out Dan. And, uh, yeah, check those guys out. This is what it looks like, guys. Hey, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that like button. Oh, you think so, do you, Shop Inspector? She says don't forget to hit the like button. Share, subscribe, and like. There's our water element. And there's our fire element. One's a drip and one's a hothead. Yeah, he's a drip and he's a hothead. Still got to give him some pupils and they are done. Yep, he's wearing his black leather jacket and his blue jeans. He's a bad man. He's on fire. He's on fire. He's bad. He's wearing leather jacket and denim jeans. And uh, the other guy is just like, hey, dude. I'm from the Pacific side of the world, you know, in the Pacific Ocean. Where's my board, dude? And I signed them. Yep, right there on the bottom of his feet. They're all signed on the bottom of their feet. All right, so that's it for this one, guys. Be awesome. Carve something awesome. And we will catch you on the next one. Hey, guys, I really appreciate all the support that you give me. I uh, just want to let you know, and thanks to everybody that has bought me a coffee. You guys know who you are. I'm pointing right at you. Bye-bye. Bye. Catch you on the next one.